recently showed pictures of intense flooding that was occurring across parts of Indiana, where we have seen three to five inches of water just today on top of that four to seven inch rainfall that we had just last week. And there are those rainfall totals Brian is painting on there for you, anywhere from three to four inches across that chunk of real estate from Sellersburg back toward English. I believe that four inch total, considering some of the water problems that I saw myself in Charlestown, Indiana, just a bit ago. Once again, some great news here. We're just kind of scanning the viewing area and showing these various batches of thunderstorms. This right here is the tornado worn segment. What Brian is circling is where we actually had some pretty good rotation earlier. Brian, can we go back a few minutes with Max, kind of take the time bar and show folks the progression of that rotation and how it has broadened out? Let's go back to right on top of Newcastle. This was at 5 o'clock, looks like that was about 10, 15 minutes ago. You can see how it wrapped up. As we go forward, notice we lost the greens. That's the wind going back toward the radar at Fort Knox. And the reds going away also kind of became a, a little bit less concentrated. And those reds and greens farther and farther apart. And that means in this situation, we may have had a funnel up at cloud level that could have formed for a few minutes. Uh, especially as it moved over Newcastle. Thankfully, uh, if I can confirm, guys, no reports of any sort of funnel or touchdown in Newcastle. Highly populated areas, so obviously if there would have been something, we would have gotten a report of that in parts of Henry County. No, uh, the only thing we saw, Jared, was that uh, we had the funnel cloud reported by a weather spotter okay. uh, that was between Newcastle and Lockport, but uh, the only thing we're, we're getting right now is just a, a lot of bad, a bad flooding reports. Yeah. Uh, Clark County, Indiana, um, Dovir Wood Road, is that correct? Uh, how do you spell it? D O V I R. Devere? Devere Ro Wood Road. Um, what town is that in? County Line Road. That is uh, near Hamburg. Hamburg, uh, yeah. Where there's uh, some extensive flooding in those spots. So. Um, yeah, and I think really, I mean, we have numerous severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings in effect. But I think the main concern right now is flash flooding in the heart of the evening commute, which is going to cause some serious issues, Kristen. Hey, hey, Jared. We did just get a new severe thunderstorm warning. This is in effect for East Central Hardin, LaRue County, and Southwestern Nelson County until 6 o'clock okay. uh, tonight. Okay, so that warning is along and east of 65 there. E Town to Sonora, this would be about mile marker number 90 or so down toward 75 in parts of Hardin County, passing toward the east and mainly south of the Bluegrass Parkway. Much of LaRue County getting slammed right now with that thunderstorm heading in your direction over the next 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, let's go to velocity. I see a notch there just south of E-Town. Want to make sure that we're not having some rotation picked up. Looks like there may be just a little bit of rotation across parts of, e uh, of uh, Hardin County just south of E-Town. And Jared, this storm is moving very fast. Uh, okay. The others have been moving at about 30 miles per hour. This one's moving at about 45 miles per hour. So this one's trucking through the area. And uh, so very, behind that we could quickly. have... Uh, some very gusty winds regardless of, of this uh, circulation is that we're that seeing. Is that strengthening there. or weakening if you go back a couple frames, Brian? It does look like that is, uh, that is coming together there. It, it didn't seem like there was whole, a whole lot yeah. uh, a couple of scans ago, but now uh, there, we You are. can definitely see the notch going on here. And, uh, and we have uh, meteorologist Reed Yaden out in the field with um, our storm tracker. Uh, and right now he is, well, I don't know where we're going there. Uh, we're, Kristen, go ahead and take us for a second. Where is Reed located? Reed is actually in Preston 65. He's actually in Jefferson okay. County. So he's where the uh, storms are pretty much moving through Jefferson County right now. Reed, what can you tell us? Okay, presently we're on uh, the Snyder Freeway near Preston Highway. Very heavy rain out here. Not a lot of wind, not a lot of lightning, but the rain is intense. We are watching on radar and visually prior to the time the rain intensified. The cell that uh, Jared was talking about there, we were looking at the, uh, the section of the cell that we could see, and I agree with what Jared was saying. I think that uh, there's some reason to watch that one. Looks like we may be getting a new warning in here right now. Looks like a flash flood warning. I'll let you all handle that. What we're going to do is get back on the Snyder for the time being and uh, try to meet up with that particular cell that uh, is going to move across just north of Shepherdsville, it looks like. That's our plan at the moment, but very, very heavy rain out here, the Snyder and uh, 265 at the present time. Wind not a factor. Now we're starting to mix in quite a bit of cloud ground lightning as well. That's the situation from Storm Chase 11. And thank you so much, Reid. Yeah, he's going to continue to track any of the storms that we have around Kentuckiana. But as he mentioned, you can 
see pretty much through Metro Louisville right now. This is the new flash flood warning that is now in effect. This includes St. Matthews, Oklahoma, Fern Creek, uh, J-Town, over towards Anchorage. You're all under this flash flood warning until 834 tonight. So lots and lots of heavy rainfall with this storm. And if you're if you're close to Poplar Creek uh, near Blackthorn Road, Chenoweth Run, um, uh, near the Rough Regal Parkway and the Waterson Trail. Those are spots that are prone to some flooding. So you are going to want to be careful if you're in those spots. Stay away from those areas, any water covered roads. And we just get, got a new severe thunderstorm warning yeah. for Jefferson County now that goes until 6.05. So as expected, uh, they have extended that warning into Jefferson County and that includes the Metro Louisville area. Uh, and Brian, just to check the, the reports from the Weather Service, any any reported severe weather or are they just kind of being preemptive with this warning at this point? Uh, just three, three quarter inch hail, no okay. reports. Um, yeah, yeah, it would appear that they're warning for this segment right here, right along 65 close to the airport. And if obviously if there are strong gusty winds, uh, we're going to get a report from SDF on their ASOS here in the next few minutes if that was indeed the case. Uh, no doubt, though, very strong thunderstorms across much of Jefferson County, and that severe thunderstorm warning has been issued. It really it lights up the entire county. We also have that flash flood warning that's just been issued, and this covers areas that have seen those six to seven inch rainfall amounts.